Hello and welcome to the Battlefield Top Plays. In this week's episode, we've got 10 of the best clips that I've had sent into the inbox over the past couple of weeks. Starting us off today, we have a clip sent in from Axabil. He's playing on Battlefield 3 and he's pulling off one of the longest shots that I think I've ever seen in a tank. He's kindly put a timer down in the bottom right hand corner for us and as you can see, it's going well over the 10 second mark. Next up, we've got a clip sent in from Quick Striker. This again is going to be an insanely long range rendezvous, firing the s'more behind him across the map on Dragon Valley and picking up a kill on a helicopter far, far behind him. Next up, a clip sent in from Naki, the MLG Pro. Now, this is a map that I've really, really enjoyed and missed, to be honest, since I've stopped playing that much Battlefield 4. Paracel Storm Rush. This part of the map where you push up onto the broken aircraft carrier, you can take the rib boats up and you can really cause a whole load of damage and that is exactly what Naki does. Now he's come up against a team that doesn't really seem to want to shoot back at him and as you watch this clip through you'll notice that he just takes out so many enemies without getting much resistance at all. Even that Amtrak that's sitting over there doesn't really shoot back. He racks up a serious point streak, a load of kills for his team, also a load of suppression and kill assists which are really really important in this situation as he tries to help his team defend. A nice play, good positioning to get the rib boat here but dearie me those enemies have really let themselves down. Next up we have two mega long range small shots on Dragon Valley from the Master AA. Now he hit both of these in the same match, apparently he says they were back to back. The first one is at such insane range hitting a jet moving at pace, I can't believe that he's managed to pull that one off. The second one he then takes out a jet coming back the other way, a similar shot again. I've literally never hit a shot like that in Battlefield 4 on a jet and this guy's gone and hit two in the same game, that's pretty incredible. Next we've got a clip sent in from Dexter, he's going to be playing on some Battlefield 3, peeking over the back of this little lorry trailer here. He's playing Damavan Peak, obviously, trying to take out these enemies who are trying to push through the little tunnel on the side of this big arch. He's doing a pretty good job, and within 30 seconds he manages to pull off around 20 kills. It's a shame that he couldn't manage to get a couple of grenades in there and take them out all in one go because they are just all stacked up and they do actually get a tank for support and then he has to do some close range defensive work as he gets hit from the side and then gets attacked from behind also. Nonetheless, a fantastic streak before he gets taken out. Next up we've got a clip sent in from Irax. Playing on Henan Resort in the recon class, he pushes to the top and takes out this camping dude with the deagle always enjoy getting these campers taken out of the way he then drops his beacon so he's got a decent place to shoot onto and then pulls off one of the most amazing reaction shots on a jet headshot in the pilot clean out as the jet was diving probably one of the best pilot snipes i've seen on this just the fact that the guy was going so quickly it's a reaction shot it's first thing headshots him straight out a fantastic clip Next up, a Battlefield 1 clip sent in from Ghibli Jakers. He's going to be playing on the new map Albion, and he's managed to pick up the tank of air. And this thing, let me tell you, is an absolute monster. If you line up anyone, as you can see here, two enemies in a row, the bullet goes through them all, 200 points, multi-kill. There's nothing you can do to counter this thing, apart from maybe bayoneting the guy or hitting repeated headshots. He's got himself a position here as well where he's at decent range, so he's not going to have too much trouble in terms of close range melee attacks. And he just starts picking off 
every single enemy in the distance without missing a shot. A fantastic clip. Unfortunately, he can't take the plane out and does get taken out. But it's really rare to see so many people get taken out in such a short space of time with that tank of it. Dissectors up next, and I know I said that sniping clip on the jet pilot was one of my favourites of the top plays so far. Well, that one might have just beaten it. So clean, taking out the pilot of that little bird, and then just to top it off, bailing out and stealing his heli too to help his team out. A really, really solid clip there. Watch it again in slow motion. Fantastic clip. Yet another long range small clip, this time sent in from Dark Energy. He's going to be playing on Altai range and I think goes for a shot on that attack heli, but somehow misses. Maybe he was meaning to hit that jet that you just see go over the back of the hill, but either way he does. Incredible range. Watch it again in slow motion. I'll zoom in a little bit too so you can see what's going on. How the hell he managed to pull that off, I will never know. Finally, we've got a clip sent in from High Sound. He's going to be playing on Golmud Railway, looking to take out a vehicle in the distance. As you can see, the attack helicopter is spotted. He goes for a shot. Unfortunately, he hits a little bit too low. But nonetheless, there is another enemy to save the day and catch his s'more for him. A really lucky clip, but fantastic to see. Hopefully you did enjoy this week's top plays. If you did, leave a like down below. I'm going to be hosting a Operation Metro and Operation Locker special in the upcoming weeks. I'm just waiting until I get the best clips before I post that video out. If you have got any that you haven't already sent in, feel free to drop them in the inbox. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.